In second place, we have KZN again. Masi Bumba Neha. Simlinde Le Tandolwe Tukuma. And in hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Gift Varsity TV. Uh, this is your host, Gift for Zekana. So, as you know, that in this channel, we bring the best so that you can be the best. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe as we are on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Don't leave this channel without subscribing. Leave a nice comment, right? Uh, I know you see this, you know this guy, you once saw him on TV, right? I deal with national in this channel. I deal with national students, right? She was one. He was one of the top achievers uh, in the country, right? So, man, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Simlindele Kumalo. I think most of you know me as Musilgas Gamashobane. So, I went to Ondine High School in Ulundi, but then my certificate is written in Masbumba because that's where I wrote it. That's where you got your, your good marks. That's where I got my good marks. Yes. Yeah. Right, 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 right. What subject did you do in high school, man? So in high school, I was doing mathematics, physics, accounting, life science, LO, English, and Isuzu home language. Okay, okay, okay. So you're in that math score. Yeah. Yeah. You, doing you, the science subject. The science subject. The yeah. science stream. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! So you decided to do mathematics when that, uh, so you loved mathematics? Yeah, I, I, since from primary school, so I, I really loved mathematics. Mm. I, was, I, want, I just wanted to get 100% in mathematics. Get and that was my goal. Yeah. And then I, I did get it. You wanted a clean score? Clean score. Nothing 100. Else. You know, leave no stone unturned. Even if they turn it like this, you know. My guy, we saw you on, te on television, national TV, on the news channel, and whatever. Uh, were you a top achiever for what? I was, I was second in Quintal Cross School. Oh. National. National. <laughs> not locally. Not, no, no, not the districtally, districtically, no. or provincially. National. You know, and finally. He's here on Gift Varsity TV, the channel that deals it's with the top of the cream or cream of the top. Top range. Top range, yeah. Let's say top range and why yeah, top range. My guy, you're number four. Let's go to your marks. I, I like asking this question, you know. And as you can see here they eh mathematics. Uh, it was a clean one. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Physics. Uh, physics was 97. 97. Accounting. And I'm I'm a bit disappointed that accounting was 99 instead of 100. But <laughs> okay, I think let's go and do remarking. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Life science. Life science was 96. 96. What What is another one? Uh, L O was also 96. Uh, Isuzu was 93, and then English was 91. 91. So, so what was your average in total? My average was 96 on the dot. 96 on the dot. Yes. If you are still playing with 80s, 70s, 60s, you never see national. But okay, it's fine. You'll see the orange carpet. It's, I'm talking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Those were incredible marks. Let, let's go to mathematics. Let's dissect mathematics. Let's let's dissect it, man. How did you study mathematics, right? You you said you loved mathematics. I loved mathematics. Yeah. And my uncle is a math teacher, so. Oh, it was simple. It's yeah. in the family. Yeah. So he was really pushing for me to get a hundred percent. Yeah. 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 So most of the subjects. Oh, I'm, I mean the topics in mathematics, I did them in grade 11. So when I was in, in grade 11 in 2022, I was starting with metric of 2023. Okay, 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 man. Eh. You, are, you are busy with grade, with, the, with grade 12 work while in grade 11? Yeah, for, but that was only math and physics. Oh. Some chapters. Yeah. So in grade 11, you got uh, how many, like in math and physics? 
Maths, I got 100%. In grade 11? Yeah, final math. You, 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 you. In grade 11, he got 100% final mark. In grade 12, he got 100%. Mm, mm, so there mm. was consistency. Consistency! Yeah. Man, tell us, like, how did you study mathematics? What did you do? I know your uncle is a math teacher. There are people who have, who have parents who are math teachers, but they are not doing academically well. You said your, your, your uncle is a math teacher. But what I'm trying to... Uh, my question is... How did you start in mathematics? What was the strategy? How would you attack a question paper? Which textbooks did you use? Which resources did you use online? Uh, textbook. I don't remember using a textbook. Mm. But I was using past papers mm. like uh, WTS, resource pack. Uh, I was mostly using Stanmore Physics. I don't know if you know that website. The what? Stanmore Physics. Can you spell it? S T A N M O R E. Oh. Stanmore Physics. Stanmore Physics. So that's where you can get all your papers okay. for all your subjects. Yeah. So that way I was getting most of my resources. Oh, so you were practicing everything. Yeah. There. Through question papers all the way. Yeah. Even if it's difficult, you don't just give up. I don't give up. I can't sleep without having solved the mathematics problem. Yeah. No, I don't sleep. It's painful. <laughs> Yo, it, it was painful. Yeah, it was painful, but I'm not saying I got the answers all the time, but then most of the time I, I strive to get the correct answer. Mm. Mm. Yo. So, you were always... Uh, it was, guys, it was painful. Guys, you must feel pain if you didn't solve any man's problem. You should feel pain. You know. You should feel pain. I'm repeating it. Feel pain. Oh, wow. So, what other resources did you use? Other things, like how did you study? How many hours did you spend studying this? So, in like in my community or like town, there are a lot of intervention programs mm. where you can go attend after school and go attend during the weekend. So, I was also utilizing those. But most of the time, it was just me and question papers, past question papers. I think that's, that's what helped me the most because I got to understand how questions are asked mm. and how to answer them. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Question papers, question papers, question papers, question papers. With physics, how did you study it? That's all your eh? question papers again. Yeah, question papers. But physics, yeah, physics, I was, I was chowing, but then it was not... The same as mathematics, it was mm. not as what I wanted it to be. But mm. then, yeah, question papers are also the way to go. Mm. Also, what is the topic that was challenging you in physics that you remember? There's no specific topic that was challenging me. Sometimes I used to, like, overthink things, especially in paper two. So, yeah, <laughs> oh. it was overthinking that got me in trouble. It's not that I didn't know the, oh. the approach or anything like that. You're even above the question. And the question child. <laughs> because I uh, do was above it. Yeah, uh, account, accounting. Uh, How did you study accounting? The same way. Yeah. Yeah. Question papers. Mm. And like, if there was there's this one teacher from my area. Hey, the guy is good in accounting. Yeah. yeah. He speaks accounting. So I think attending his classes in metric really helped me. Okay. I'm just disappointed that I didn't give him that 100%. Oh, much more. Tamara 99 is still a lot. How? Oh, oh, that's A+. Plus. A++. Plus plus. Yeah. Hey, my guy. Okay. So now let, let's get to you now. How did you study theory subjects when it comes to life science, Ganjia? No. Theory. Mm. So what I used to do, uh, I would like space out my my study session so with the theory part i would start doing it so when i start studying that's when i do the theory part and then later on during the night that's when i'll be doing maths mm. because i don't want to fall asleep mm. yeah yeah you start with theory and then you come with something that keeps you awake 
If you sleep while you are doing mathematics, yeah. just know yeah. there is a problem. <laughs> that thing will keep you awake. If you can't find the angle in your grid, you will be looking around. Once you sleep, ah, you will be trigonometrized. Trigonometry. Okay. Uh, let's get to you. Like, wh wh How many hours did you sleep? Did you sleep the normal eight hours? Or two hours? Or three hours? Or 45 minutes? So, I think I'm the person who likes studying during the day. Yeah. So, I, I don't like cross-nighting. Yeah. So, I used to, like, start early so that I can finish late. Yeah. So, it, sleep. yeah, in metric, there was nothing special I was doing. It was just my normal schedule. I wasn't staying up until 2. At 11, I would be finished studying because I, I start early. Around 5, I start with the theory things, and then after that, I do mathematics. So... For me, it was just starting early and finishing early so that I can have enough rest. But I didn't have the eight hours, maybe mm. seven hours, six hours. Okay, okay. So what the other things? Did you engage in other activities such as, oh, we're always focused on books? You know, there's a saying that people like, they say uh, academics are the drop and everything else is the ocean. To me, it's quite the opposite because academics have always been the ocean and everything else they drop. Mm. So there's nothing else that I did in high school be beyond my academics. So I was just studying all the way. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Right, and you made it to the national ex uh, national awards. How did you feel when you received that uh, message that says, "No, man, you you are one of the top achievers in in the country." How, how did you feel? So, eh, when you received the text, where were you? I, I was at home, so I had left my phone on the charger and I went outside. When I returned, there were like five missed calls from my principal. I was a bit shocked about that. And then when I went to WhatsApp, to WhatsApp I saw people asking for my pictures. And I was like, what's going on? Mm. Because I hadn't checked my emails. And then when I checked my emails, I, I saw that I, I got the invitation and I was... Excited, yeah. obviously, but then oh, yeah. I was curious at the same time. At the same time as why I was called, mm. was it for physics, maths, or what, mm -hmm. or accounting? Yeah, you yeah. love the accounting, yeah. Accounting and maths. Yeah, yeah. So just I was here calculating. Mm -hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, wow. That's great. That's fantastic. And you went to national. You saw the minister of education. The former minister of education now. Wow. Uh, so, uh, man, uh, you decided to come to University of Cape Town. Cape Town. UCT. Why UCT? So, I, UCT is rated as the best in Africa. So, yeah. I just decided I'm, I have to go to Cape Town. And also because my uncle is here. So, it's yeah. easy to just go home whenever I feel oh. like things are overwhelming. That's great, that's great. Yeah, it's nice having a relative around. Right, 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 right. Eh. So, you decided to study what? What is, it, what is it that you loved accounting? Did you decide to study accounting science? Or... Okay. What is it that you wanted to study? So, uh, I went for medicine. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I like neurology. I like solving. So, you know, when you read about someone and there's like, he was the first two. He was the first two. Yeah. So, those are things that I want to my name. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's why I went to, I went to medicine for neuro, neurosurgery. Neurosurgery. You want to deal with the brain. Yeah. Yeah. You want to deal with your neurons effectively. Hey, 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 hey. Wow, wow, wow. So, you want to be a neurologist one day? Neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon, yeah. neurosurgeon, neurosurgeon. Guys, this is our future neurosurgeon, our future doctor, you know, and he worked very hard to get uh, to study medicine. We know that getting to medicine is not an easy thing, right? I, you can get in others, but medicine, and you made it to medicine at the best university in Africa. You get my point? Right. How is it now studying medicine uh, compared to high school at, uh, at university? Yeah, I'd say first semester, first semester is challenging, mm. just challenging, especially physics, you? Yeah. 
I thought I knew physics, but <laughs> hey, yeah. when I came to varsity physics, hey, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. But then I, uh, I think I adapted well, and everything is, it's okay. It's okay. Man. Yeah, You're pushing. I still push. I still the keep doing the same momentum. Yeah, the same energy. The same energy, and you add more energy to the same energy because the lot there's a lot of work here. If yeah. you don't balance. Will be balanced decisively. Uh, man, wh- what is it that you can say to every student that is currently watching us at home that will keep them inspired, that will keep them motivated throughout the year? It's almost the year end now, guys. There's no time. If you are still waiting for for another time, the time is now. Start now. You know, it's, don't think about it. Just do it like Nike. <laughs> Don't think about it. What can you say to them? Just look at them there at home. So uh, last year when I was about to write my final exams, my sister studying in UKZ and sent me your video where you were saying it's not about how you started the race, mm. but it's all about how you finished the race. Mm. So because we are in second semester, uh, the metrics are going to write the, the trials soon and they are finals. So what I would say to them, it's all about how they are going to finish this race. And then it's it's important to know what you're fighting for. Don't just start because your parents took you to school. There must be a reason behind that. And you must also have goals that you want to achieve. Yeah. As black people, like for me, I'd say, there are things that you want your family to be known for because of you mm. so that can also push you into the right direction yeah. so they just they must just work hard i said i wanted to get 100 percent for mathematics yeah. i didn't but, just say yeah. i also put in the hours yeah. so if you put in the hours everything that you, you want you will definitely get it. 